Clear way one. This video provides training on how to use the cough assist. The training you're about to receive is specific to the clear way one and is therefore not transferable to other devices. Coughing is the body's way of clearing the upper airways and throat. It's an important reflex to clear irritants, mucus or food and drink that has accidentally gone down the wrong way. Many people with neurological conditions have a weak cough because of breathing muscle weakness. This puts them at greater risk of getting a chest infection and needing to be in hospital. A cough is made up of three stages. The inspiratory phase, this is the ability to take a deep breath in to fill the lungs. The compression phase, the throat closes over to build up pressure and resistance in the lungs. Expiratory phase, the muscles around our ribs, abdomen and diaphragm contract, causing a fast expel of air or cough as we know it. A weak cough can be caused by weak muscles, small lung breaths, a stiff and inelastic chest wall, or difficulty coordinating the stages of a cough. This can put the person at greater risk of getting a chest infection and needing to be in hospital. The cough assist helps to loosen, move and clear secretions to try and stop and reduce the risk of getting a chest infection. It helps with taking a deep breath in to increase the amount of air in the lungs. It then quickly switches to a negative pressure, which sucks the air out of the lungs, just like a cough, taking any secretions with it. Ideally, the cough assist should be used twice a day in the mornings and evenings. It can also be used throughout the day if you feel or hear secretions on your chest. Plug the power cord into the back of the device and into a mains power outlet. The Clearway One doesn't have a battery and must be connected to mains power to work. The white sponge filter protects the cough assist from dust and debris. Please avoid covering or blocking the filter. To set the device up, connect both ends of the tubing onto the cough assist as shown. The filter protects from any buildup of bacteria. At the other end, attach the mask you'll be using. Press the power button to turn the device on. The mode of treatment is displayed in the bottom left-hand corner. The settings are shown and have been set and locked by the Home and IV team, so you cannot accidentally change them. The settings and number of coughs are specific to the individual. If you are unsure, please contact the Home and IV team who will help you. You can access the menu to adjust things like screen brightness and alarm volume. Use the plus and minus keys to move between the options, pressing set to confirm. Some people require assistance to hold the mask over their nose and mouth. Others may be able to do it themselves. Please check with the individual to ensure they are comfortable throughout. It's important to make sure a good seal is maintained throughout. This can be done by creating a C shape with your hand. When ready, press the start stop button. The graph will appear on screen showing the number of breaths and coughs there are different modes on the cough assist, which may change your starting position. Some people are able to trigger the machine to start the cycle, whilst others require it to run automatically if it takes too much effort. If you are able to, take a deep breath in to start the cough assist. Some people find it helpful to watch the screen so they know when to cough. The Home NIV team will advise you on the number of times to do this. You may need to do another cycle if you feel there are secretions on your chest to clear. The cough assist should not be used to clear food in the event of choking, as you can push the food further down the wrong way into your lungs. If connecting to a tracheostomy, use a catheter mount or tracheostomy connector. If the tracheostomy has a cuff, it's important to inflate it to reduce the amount of air leaking from the site. Use a catheter mount to connect the cough assist and press the start stop button to start treatment. To stop treatment, press the start stop button again. To turn the device off, press the power button twice to confirm. If you have a chest infection, it's important you keep using the cough assist. You can increase your use of the cough assist to several times a day, but never for more than 30 minutes in any one session. Please consult the Home and IV team if you have any concerns.
the Home and IV team have assessed every person with a cough assist to make sure it's safe to be used. However, if anything changes, it's important you let us know. Contraindications to treatment include hemoptysis or coughing up blood, facial, skull or oral trauma and surgery, acute lung injury or pneumothorax, tracheobronchial fistula, bullous emphysema, vomiting and cardiovascular instability. The white dust filter should be inspected weekly and replaced when visibly soiled. The circuit should be replaced every month to prevent growth of bacteria and more frequently if you have a chest infection or increased secretion load. Tracheostomy circuits may be required to be changed more frequently. Use tissues to remove any secretions coughed into the mask between cycles and rinse in warm soapy water daily.